Hello friends, I am back with another unboxing video. I'm going to try to keep this one short. Um, right now it's a Friday night, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this. But I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanted to go ahead and open this up. I've been waiting on it for quite a while. Um, this is going to be the Bomb uh tote and zipper pouch. And I purchased this from, I believe it's pronounced mid up here. It's from Malaysia. And it took me a while to find these. I mean, of course, they were sold out on the Bon Kuchin website since probably the first of the year. But I was determined to find one new or used. So I went with the website. They weren't quite as expensive as some of the others. And I was able to find some colors that hmm, they kind of are the ones I wanted, but not exactly. But I'm happy with the selection. Okay, let's take a look. Like I said, this did come from Malaysia, so this will be my first Malaysian package from a Malaysian store. And they did have quite a few things um, for a stationery, but at the time I was mostly looking for these two items. So, like I said, the price wasn't too bad. I think that's, yeah, that's it. I think that's pronounced. Well, if I can get it to focus, there it is. It's made up here. And, yeah, so I took a chance. I had never really heard of this company before. I think I heard them maybe on Abbey C, but I wasn't exactly sure. All right, we'll take a look. Oh, we've got some cute little sticker here. I guess that doesn't help. And no packaging. And looks like some ephemera. Oh, I saw these actually on, I follow them now on um, Instagram and I saw these particular stickers. I thought they were so cute. So I may go back and order some. And the shipping didn't take too long either. Probably about a week and a half. So, I said they sent that, and looks like a little strip of washi tape, maybe, or a little sticker. And got some more ephemera, a little thank you note, um, and a postcard. So, that's really cute. Or do I have it upside down? I do. <laughs> that looks a lot better that way. Okay, let's get into the packaging. Let's see. Uh, oh. What's from the side? Um, we've got nice decorations, a little twine or string and just want to open this up real quick I hate to tear it okay we did good so that's the side and this is a little pouch so in here I'm probably gonna I'm looking for something to put my washi tape in so it's not kind of all over my stationary bag. Up there it's got the logo. I was actually thinking this was going to be a little bigger. So this was the number two, I think, on the website. So like I said, it's not very big. And then I got this a little tote bag. And this one, oh, sorry. This one's in green, and this one's in gray. The green was only, I think that were the newer colors, green and brown. And I wanted this one in lighter color, kind of like a khaki, but that one was all sold out. So also on their website, things are selling out quickly. This is, like I said, a little small tote. And inside, it's got the 
so I can show you better. Um, the genuine product, standard and strong. Uh, Japan made, it's superior labor. A little pocket here. They've got the little tag. Oh, I didn't know that was included. That's really cute. So I'll probably attach that onto this. On the back side, you just got a little pocket on the back. And there's a little breast thing. On the front, you got the Stanley Strong Superior Labor as well. With the brass and the leather. Of course, this is canvas. All this. Nice sturdy bottom. So, yeah. Very happy. It's very cute. Just something I can throw my traveler's notebook in. Maybe a pencil case. I'll um, do another video with this, guys, and kind of show you what I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis. But, yes, that's it for my small um, haul, I guess, from Smith & Beer. Smith & Paper, sorry. <laughs> uh, superior Labor. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.